Hello everybody and welcome back to another Let's Trek Together video. So as you can see, I am not with Molly today. Um, today is, I guess, day four of our quarantine since we've come back from North Carolina and the Appalachian Trail. And uh, yeah, it kind of sucks. <laughs> it's just a very different environment to go from, you know, being free and hiking 15 miles a day to just not doing any of that. Um, so I decided to get out today. Molly also is getting out. We're doing two separate trails. So I thought it'd be fun if we actually just combined the video. So um, yeah, you'll be seeing my hike, you'll be seeing her hike, and come along. Good morning, everybody. I am back in the woods with my pack. No, I'm not on the AT, but I am here in Stevens Park, which is a park about 15 minutes from my house, and I'm doing a 9.1 mile loop today. It's called the Stevens Green Leroy Serpentine Maze and White Loop. Um, so it interconnects a lot of the trails, but I am super happy to be out here in the woods again. Uh, nothing's gonna stop me from getting my training in and enjoying the nature, so let's go. So something that the AT has taught me in just this like really short amount of time is to not be afraid of hiking by yourself in the woods. Um, I used to get really paranoid and probably before I started this I would not have come out here by myself to be in the middle of the woods uh, because of bears and you know just other stupid thoughts that come into your head. But now after hiking by myself on the AT occasionally depending on pacing and stuff I really I really enjoy it and I feel so at peace and calm. Look at all the green! It makes me so happy. Life is returning. What a beautiful day. So the trail I'm on has to partially be like a bike trail because it keeps doing these weird loop-de-loop -loop things. Um, <laughs> but not complaining, it's got some little ups and downs and apparently there's a fire tower so I'm really excited to see that. Okay, look what I just stumbled upon. It's a freaking chimney and like the groundworks of a house. Super cool. I had no idea I was going to see this. So today I am hiking a five mile loop um, at Northern Green State Park. I'm not sure if it's in Wanaku or if it's in West Milford. It feels like it's very in between the two. Um, if anyone is from the North Jersey area, just let me know what city it is. And right off the bat, we're already climbing over rocks. I guess the one thing that Georgia and North Carolina did on the AT was spoil us with really well-paved paths. Even if it was super steep, it was well-paved. This one is just bouldering. So I picked Northern Green because for the most part, New Jersey hiking is pretty mild. There are some tough ones, but overall it's pretty mild. However, I know from experience that this park has a lot of, I'm going to say awkward hills, a lot of rocky terrain as you can see, and I just thought it would make for a better workout, at least in regards to training back up for the Appalachian Trail. So I originally picked a local park in the Kinalon area to go do this hike, and once I got to the parking lot, there were maybe about three spots available and the parking lot could hold about 40, 50 cars. It was absolutely packed. And it makes me really, really happy to see so many people out enjoying the outdoors, especially in this quarantine. However, it does make me really sad because we were quote unquote kicked off of the AT because there was just too much foot traffic and, and quote unquote spreading the virus. However, if there's 50 people jam-packed into a little state park, that's just as bad. So um, try to pick more local hikes that don't have so much foot traffic, if you can. Um, yeah, that's my recommendation. Man, I've done hikes on the other side of this park, but this side is beautiful. And I love being able to boulder over little cliffs and then go back down and boulder over. Looks like we're getting to the high point. Um, I'm not sure if I've actually been on top of this hill, so 
I guess we'll find out. Okay, wow. I have this entire view to myself. Look how beautiful those birds are in the wind. Wow. And the best part is, it's so clear out today that you can see New York City. I'll zoom up on that. They aren't, uh, you know, southern waterfalls, but we still got it. I guess the one positive of having to come home because of the virus is, I mean, this hiking is so much easier than Georgia and North Carolina, like I've said at least like four times in this video, but it really does make you appreciate just how like beautiful New Jersey is. After doing about 100 to 150 miles of backpacking, being able to just come out and do a little day hike, it's just so wonderful, love it. I just have to say, even though, even though this is only five miles and when we're on the Appalachian Trail, five miles is pretty much just a morning hike, <laughs> um, it is pretty tough. It's crazy how much four days can affect your trail legs. I don't know if I was getting trail legs by the end of by the end of those two weeks, but I've definitely lost whatever energy I had. <laughs> Here it is. Man, that's tall. I'm not going any higher because I'm tired and heights. But I made it to the fire tower. It's not technically on this trail. You had to climb up some rocks to get there, but totally worth it. Really beautiful view up here. I just fell in the woods. Um, I rolled my ankle and my ankle seems to be okay. It doesn't hurt at all, but I, I landed really weird on my wrist and my thumb's hurting me. Um, so when you're going by yourself in the woods, it's really good to be careful. I'm being super careful now about where I put my feet and making sure that I have good stability. But yeah, that was a little scary. <laughs> I don't know what I would have done because I'm about six miles in the woods by myself. Um, but yeah, I'm okay. Uh, making my way back now, almost done. So let's hit it. This is a pretty cool way to end the hike. Uh, I walked down the service road a little bit more through the woods and now I think it's this all the way back to the car. So nice. So I am back at my car. The walk is done. I'm definitely a little tired. This one had some ups and downs as opposed to the last one I did where it was just flat the whole time. This ended up being 10.1 miles. Um, if you go on all trails, you can find the path. And I said the title earlier, but we'll also put it in the description below. But it was ended up being 10 miles because I went off trail a little bit. The um, fire tower isn't actually on the trail, but you can see it from the trail. And there's a purple trail that connects to it that you just have to walk up to get to it. Totally worth it. Um, so yeah, if you are in this area, definitely check this out. It was a really pretty walk in the woods and I saw no one the whole time, which was a really nice plus. <laughs> I am back at the bottom again. So I did about five miles in a little over two hours. Not bad. Definitely think I could be a little bit quicker, but whatever. It's just training. It's not a race. Um, yeah, Norvin is beautiful. I only saw it from one side, so seeing it from the other side is even cooler. Definitely gonna come back. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, yeah, see you guys later. Bye. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and you enjoy Danny's part of it as well. And as always, let's trek together.